The question of the exact shape and nature of the universe has occupied earthly scientists for many centuries. While researchers in the past still assumed that our Earth was the center of the universe, around which all other celestial bodies revolved, we now know that our blue home planet and its superordinate solar system make up only a vanishingly small fraction of the entire universe. If one follows some theories, then the designation of the one universe is misleading, however. Our galactic home could represent, in truth, only a component of a higher accumulation of millions and millions of universes. In the context of today's video, we would like to reintroduce to you the thesis of the bubble-shaped universes. We wish you, as always, a lot of fun with this interesting topic. Enthusiastic about the fascinating phenomena and groundbreaking discoveries in the universe? Then don't forget to subscribe to Simply Space and activate the bell to never miss one of our posts again. With a thumbs up, you'll motivate us and show us that you like the content of our videos. Einstein's Theory of Relativity Theoretical physicists have been facing a galactic mystery for many decades. The central question is, what is the universe made of? Or more precisely, what is the gaping space that exists between the countless stars, planets, and galaxies made of? While the search for an answer to this cosmic question is challenging enough, it's accompanied by the problem that many common space theories contradict the actual observations in the universe. Even Albert Einstein's world-famous general theory is not capable of describing the universe in its entirety. Einstein's special theory of relativity deals with the behavior of time and space from the point of view of observers moving relative to each other. The subsequent general theory of relativity, later published, attributes gravity to a curvature of time and space, which sometimes results from the effects of the masses involved. In simple terms, this means space possesses a three-dimensional shape, while time represents a fourth dimension. According to this, the celestial bodies rest on a kind of galactic surface, which they bend by their own mass. Therefore, the theory of relativity explains the rotation paths of the planets and stars, not by cosmic forces of attraction, but rather with the curvature of space-time. However, this world-famous theory reaches its limits if we try to apply it to larger areas of space-time, in other words, the complete universe. If we were to apply Albert Einstein's predictions to the entire universe, it would collapse due to the prevailing gravity. For this reason, the physicist introduced the so-called cosmological constant. This is a fixed mathematical value which counteracts the prevailing gravity effects. After scientists later realized that, contrary to Albert Einstein's theories, the universe is not static but constantly expanding, the cosmological constant was given a value of zero, whereupon it faded into the background among experts for some time. In the late 1990s, however, experts discovered that the expansion of the universe is proceeding at an ever-increasing rate. As a result, Einstein's anti-gravity constant once again became the focus of scientific interest the quantum foam thesis. What until then had always been regarded as a vast galactic void was now given the status of a gigantic accumulation of ominous dark energy, with the help of which the ever faster expansion of the universe could be explained. The problem is that the measurements made so far suggest that the energy of empty space is in fact significantly weaker than scientific predictions. Therefore, it's obvious that this postulated form of energy is exceedingly different in nature from those energies that the scientific community has detected up until now. For many years, theoretical physicists have devoted themselves to the task of reconciling the apparent contradictions between the various theories and the real facts. One finding in particular stands out clearly. It's possible the structure of space-time is completely different than experts had assumed up until now. The hypothesis of a space-time consisting of single bubbles, which, contrary to the previous assumptions, do not represent a coherent plane, has been discussed for a long time. This interesting assumption is called quantum foam theory within the scientific community. The first scientist who coined this term was the physicist John Wheeler. In the mid-1950s, 
the expert put forward the thesis that space-time at the quantum level is not uniform, but rather foamy, composed in detail of small bubbles that are subject to constant change. These bubbles of space-time are supposed to be in turn, in each case small, self-contained universes. The Origin of Bubble-Shaped Universes Actually, some researchers are of the opinion that our universe is in truth only one of many galactic bubbles. The emergence of our galactic home is to have taken place in a clearly different way than the Big Bang Theory says. Nothing exists at that time. It was a cosmic vacuum which began the bubble because of the influence of dark energy. The individual bubble universes are thought to have formed quite as boiling water in a pot begins to evaporate. Each of these galactic bubbles contained an individual vacuum together with a low energy quantity. According to this theory, the dark energy contained in it led to the fact that the individual bubbles began to expand. Thus, a foamy sea of billions of bubble universes was finally created. In detail, this process would represent a chain reaction that continues to this day. According to this, the individual bubbles would constantly generate new bubbles, which in turn would also form further bubble universes. The inner compositions of these cosmic formations would differ, however, sometimes very clearly from one another. While some bubbles are home to stars and galaxies, which we know in this form from our home universe, other structures could be subject to natural laws, which have nothing in common with the prevailing forces of our realm. Beyond that, it's likewise conceivable that other bubble universes do not contain any matter at all. And actually, this multiverse thesis, which seems far-fetched at first glance, accords with the so-called cosmological inflation. Specifically, this is the assumption that rapid expansion processes took place in the universe immediately after the Big Bang. According to this theory, spaces that were previously only a nanometer in size would have expanded in fractions of a second to cover areas of many millions of light years. Supporters of this theory assume that the cosmological inflation was fueled by an inflation field. This field was composed of the already mentioned vacuum energy. As soon as one presupposes that such a galactic inflation field exists, the question about its origin history is not far behind. And exactly at this point, the inflation theory begins to polarize particularly, since it postulates several single universes the advocates of this multiverse theory refer to the fact that the emergence of several bubble-shaped universes represented the next, compellingly necessary step in the cosmological inflation history. Critics criticize, however, that this metaphysical hypothesis could not be tested and thus also could not be tested validly. After all, it is a fundamental building block of scientific research to collect tangible data. To get one step closer to resolving this technical controversy, researcher Matthew Johnson has taken it upon himself to reconcile the multiverse thesis within the realm of testable science. Galactic Sleuthing During this cosmic sleuthing, Johnson and his team are looking primarily at those hypothetical, extremely rare cases in which our home bubble universe might collide with another. Within his work, the scientist therefore wants to simulate the processes of the entire universe. He and his colleagues created a model of a multiverse that contains two independent bubbles. Within their computer model, the scientists let these two bubbles collide with each other in order to find out what the consequences of this collision would be. The experts then turn their attention to the question of what observations would result for observers at different locations. At first glance, Simulating the entire universe seems like an impossible task. According to Johnson's own statements, however, it's actually a comparatively simple undertaking. In fact, such simulations do not take into account the processes within the smallest components of the universe, but only those processes that take place at the upper end of the galactic scale. Thus, the computer simulations help the researchers considerably in excluding some theoretical models of the multiverse. However, these were simulations that did not agree with real observations. According to them, the collision of two bubble universes would always be accompanied by visual effects. According to some simulations, it could be a circular structure in the cosmic microwave background. The fact that such a structure has not yet been located makes some collision models less likely than others. 
For this reason, scientists are also working hard to determine what observable tracks the collision of two multiverses would create. Although none of these hypothetical effects have been detected so far, a corresponding finding is not impossible, says Johnson, because exactly therein lies the core of this scientific investigation. If our universe is really only one of many cosmic bubbles, then this circumstance would also be verifiable from a technical perspective. Now you're up. What do you think about these highly exciting theories? Are you convinced of the thesis that space is composed of innumerable bubble-shaped universes? Write us your opinions, suggestions, and feedback to today's contribution in the comments. Finally, we've linked other videos for you with thumbnails in the credits. Thanks for your great interest. Take care, and we'll see you next time.